I don't know what I was thinking. I don't even know what I was thinking here. When the trailer for the Alkalite came out, I made a video saying, I don't know, I guess we'll give it a shot. More or less. Man, I think they're like just not even trying to make good stuff. It's like they're purposely trying to upset everyone who likes the series on purpose. Like they want to burn it down. No one's going to watch a show except for maybe like five people where they talk like insane people. If you have a show, I don't care if it's in space or if it's in the future or the past. I know Star Wars in the past and all this stuff a long time ago. Okay. Like what I'm saying is I don't care what the show is about, sci-fi, horror, action, whatever. But if you have characters that are talking in a way that's completely unrelatable except for maybe like five dorks and woke uh, ideological idiots. That's a problem. And, and I think they think they're doing a good thing because they see that, well, uh, the current fans are going to die off and whatever, and you're going to need these new kids into Star Wars, these college kids into Star Wars, but and they talk like uh, crazy people, but except they don't talk like crazy people. Only, only the mentally ill that buy into all the pronoun stuff talk like that. Okay, and and, and they're not going to be watching Star Wars. They're not going to go to your conventions in mass and pay for stuff. They don't even have money. But in, in truth, actually, the, the other reason why my other video about the Acolyte was the way that it was, which I was like, also kind of like, I don't really care. Because I stopped caring. They say Star Wars, you know, died. I guess. To me, it has already been dead. To me, I just don't care. The only trilogy is the original trilogy. I was like that when the prequels came out. And I still haven't changed. Though there are scenes like, uh, I think, uh, episode three, that were kind of kind of cool, whatever. But it's... Like when I watch Star Wars, I don't I don't even watch the prequels. I watch the original trilogy. And that's it. Yeah, sure, I've seen the the new trilogy, whatever, and it sucks. It just sucks. Force Awakens reminds you of what it used to be, but Rehashes the same stuff, the exact same stuff, exact same points of a new hope. Except Rush, cram full of unnecessary nostalgia for the sake of it. You just dupe you. There's only one trilogy when it comes to Star Wars. And it's the original. And that's the way it's going to be. Uh, I'll still watch those. But, like, stuff like this, especially with information like this, news like this. Yeah, man. It, I just don't care. I actually don't really care enough to be angry about it. To rant and rave and throw things off the desk and, and act like a like a child about it. No, the way I see it is they left me. They don't care. They um 
it, uh, I actually like the series better when they didn't try to over explain things. Even Lucas was running into that problem with the the medic medichlorians or whatever. I was like, what are you talking about? But for Jedi, it's like, what are you talking about? It sounds insane. I mean, you know what it's going to be. It's just going to be crap. Every now and then there might be something that's cool to watch for a little bit. But then it just becomes dumb. Like, let's say Mandalorian. Mandalorian was cool for a little bit. But then the longer it played, the longer they went with the story, the more dumb it got. Like, think about it. If you, you see in The Mandalorian, the pacing of it just doesn't make any sense. How, like, someone could be, in like, in a trap and to be, like, in desperate need uh, for, for help. And they can, through the, through the galaxy, on a little spaceship, yeah, I know they're going light speed or whatever they're doing, but they're, they're able to go from planet to planet, intergalactic travel, to where they could save someone um, that's from a moment's away of death. That's stupid. That's dumb. Doesn't make any sense. I know it's it's space magic and already is you know sci fi fantasy, but you still need the story to be like, um, like there has to be a basis of some reality. <laughs> Yeah, and then, so, yeah, I'm not surprised by this. Get ready for pronouns and Star Wars. It's going to be all over the place. I could talk like they're insane. Be like, is that the way they talk because they're insane space people, uh, Jedi? Uh, no, they do that because uh, some blue-haired freaks in college, uh, they have infiltrated uh, a, a lot of sectors. Are people are trying to appeal to them, thinking they have money, but they're not going to be buying anything. Instead, they will burn the store down <laughs> in the name of social justice or whatever, and ask for free stuff before they give you any any money. I hate to be all black pilled and doom and gloom about it, but it's just a fact. Star Wars has been dead. Uh, Star Wars was dead during the prequels. To me, to me, anyway. Because I just didn't care. Maybe I grew out of it. Or maybe... I saw what, what at the time George Lucas was doing was like, okay, this looks stupid. Even the CGI, even even back then people say, oh, the CGI looked impressive, whatever. Uh, are you nuts? Like, I remember watching it and I'm like, man, this looks like fake shit. Uh, it, this looks like, it reminds me of scenes that I would see in Warcraft 2 are the command and conquer cutscenes or whatever. It just I didn't I did not like it. And that was even back in the prequels. Uh Star Wars for me, like whenever anyone talks about Star Wars and they talk about any characters that are not Lucas, Han, or Leia, or Chewie, or um anyone from from the original trilogy, okay? I have no idea what the hell they're talking about. When someone talks about uh Jedi this and some Lance Mongu, whatever, whatever. Uh, what, what was the Jedi's name for the um, 
What's his name? Fuck, am I spacing on his name right now? That's how, that's how important it is to me. The Black Jedi. He gets tossed out. He gets electrocuted. I remember seeing that. I just don't care. I'm like, this means nothing to me because to me, it already, it already was dead. So, like, that's why in my position, like, I see this. And I'm just like, well, to me, it was already dead. And now you're just pissing on it. You're pissing on it, defecating on it. Pretty gross. It's just what it is, man. I hate to end this video on a down note like that. But the new stuff sucks. Do it, enjoy it. Enjoy the original. Okay? Enjoy the original as it's intended. And it's hard to because, you know, they put that special effects stuff in there, like the Java cut scene of Han Solo. I was dumb. Didn't need to do that. It doesn't add anything to the story. It's stupid. I think I'm done with it for sure. <laughs> I was already done with it. It, 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 just, it just reinforced it. Anyway, yeah, I just, just watched the original, and that's pretty much it, guys. <laughs> uh, Disney's, Disney Star Wars definitely gave up on you guys. There's no chance. There's no hope. It's done. So any news about Star Wars, you might as well treat it like it's uh, like you didn't even hear it because you don't care, right? That's how it should be. If you don't like what they're offering you, don't pay for it. Don't support it. It's that simple.